100 grams of a substance releases 45 joule, kilojoules of energy as it cools from 13 to minus 15. What is its specific heat? Okay, well, temperature is changing, so our trusty formula comes out. As soon as you see degrees Celsius going up or down, this is almost our only option. The total energy, they say, is 45 kilojoules. You know what? I've been doing all of these in joules and grams. I'm going to work this one in kilojoules and kilograms just to show you that it can be done. So our energy is 45 kilojoules equals, for our mass, I can't say 100 now. I have to convert this into kilograms. 100 grams, if you divide it by 1,000, gives you 0 0.1 kilograms for the mass. The specific heat I do not know. We're trying to find it. And the temperature change, if we went from 13 down to minus 15, that's a difference of minus 28 degrees. It's 28 degree drop. I should say minus 28.0 degree drop because three significant digits. So for our delta T, this is me not putting the negative in because it just doesn't help us. I will put the units though. There we are. So 45 equals, we have the C just sitting there. Can't do anything with that yet, but we can multiply these numbers. 0 0.1 times 28 gives 2.8 C. And then we divide both sides by 2.8 to get C by itself. 45 divided by 2.8 is... 16.07 kilojoules per kilogram degree Celsius, or because, because the units are equivalent, we can also call it a 16.07 joules per gram degree Celsius. We said specific heats are kind of interchangeable. You can either work with the kilo units or with the regular units. Either one is okay. While we have this, we've got our table over here. Let's see if we can figure out what this thing is. Is there anything up here with a specific heat, anything like 16? Not really. Whatever it is, its specific heat is even higher than hydrogen. But we don't have a good match there. So whatever this material is, they didn't bother making it something that we have in our table. It's some kind of mystery substance, and from what we have here, we can't identify it.